Hey everyone, Technomentary here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your VPN not working on your iPhone or iPad. You want to follow these steps to troubleshoot it, so let's get started. So if your VPN isn't working, there could be multiple reasons. The first thing you want to do is pull down the control menu here, check if the VPN option is turned on. That means it's working. If it's not, it may not be working. And you might still have that and it's still not working. Simply put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and that does a quick network refresh. Along with that, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone and you should see a VPN on if it's already on and you're using it. You can go ahead and turn that VPN off and then turn it back on like that, doing a quick restart of the VPN itself. Now, the other thing you want to do is if you're using a VPN app on your device, like this one, for example, I'm using, you can go ahead and slide up your finger, close it out, and then go ahead and re open it and reconnect with the VPN itself to make sure that it's not just frozen or just glitching there. Now along with that, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and force restart your iPhone if it's still not working. In order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes black. Again, make sure you press volume up followed by volume down quickly one after another before holding on to the side button and the screen should go black like this. And once you see the Apple logo, you let go of that side button. Again, known as a force restart, basically shuts down the phone software and reloads the code. This method will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps still will be on your phone. It'll give your phone a fresh, nice start again. And same exact thing, you're going to go ahead and ensure that the VPN is turned on if it's not turned on from here or the app that you're using. Now, the other thing you want to check is if you're using a manual VPN, go into your settings, then go to general. And then from there on, you want to go to VPN and device management, then click on it. And then if you're using a VPN, it's going to be listed here. You're going to click on that eye icon here and then verify that the configuration is correct. I'm using an app on this VPN, but if you're using a manual configuration, right, you want to ensure that things like uh, your username and password are the same, especially if you recently changed the password on the VPN server for your username and to make sure that is correct. Things around uh, your proxy configuration. If you're using any proxy, just verify the proxy things did not change or accidentally get removed. So you want to make sure those settings are correct. And if you're using a manual, you probably already know uh, how to configure it. You might have to reconfigure it. In a sense, in a scenario, you do have to reconfigure it. You want to remove the configuration by clicking on the icon, click on delete delete the VPN and then re-add the VPN again to make sure that it's not an issue. Now in the case that you're using a VPN app, what you want to do is check if the app has an update by going to the App Store. So find the App Store on your iPhone and then all you're going to do is search for that same VPN you're using, right? So search a VPN here, the one that you're using or if you don't see it here, you can also click on your profile up top here, click on Apps and then it will show you the app that you're using. Now, if there's an update option, it will say update, but if it says open, it's already up to date. What I mean by that is if you go to an app like this, for example, if you click on the VPN app, it says the word update, right? You want to click on it to update that uh, VPN app itself and to verify that it's not a new update that's causing the issue and the download update will take should take about a minute or, or so. And once you have updated the app, go ahead and retry your VPN and make sure it is working again. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you can do is delete the app and reinstall it. So you press and hold just like this, find your VPN app, press and hold, click on remove, delete app, and then click on delete, and then delete it completely, and then simply re-download it from the App Store by searching up that VPN that you are using, and go ahead and get, for example, another one, or the same one you'll get, and then you'll reinstall the VPN app, and hopefully it's working after that. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to do if you have the VPN setting is go into your setting on your iPhone. So here, I'm going to go back into the main settings on my iPhone. Simply go to General, it goes all the way down here, it says, uh, transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you're going to want to do a network reset. Basically, a network reset will reset things like any kind of um, saved Wi Fi, any Bluetooth connected devices, and things like that. It's important to do that, especially if you're having issues with your network connectivity. It will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps still be safe. It should take about a minute or two to do, but it's important that you do that. Lastly, if you're still having an issue, it might be time to update your phone software, especially if you're on an older version of it. Some of the newer VPN settings might not work correctly. So in the settings, go to general, 
uh, and then from there on software update and check if there's a software update and if there is just click on update now to update your phone to the latest iOS version to fix any software related issue and I hope by now your phone's BPN is working as it should if so please consider the like and subscribe button also if you found a better way to fix BPN not working on iPhone that you might experience share with everyone in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time